The iPhone 17 Pro might not be getting as much attention as the rumored iPhone 17 Air, but it still has a lot of exciting things to offer. Apple fans and tech lovers have many reasons to look forward to this new Pro model. Based on all the leaks and rumors, let's take a look at what we can expect from the iPhone 17 Pro. Apple usually announces new iPhones in early September, and this year seems to be the same. Experts like Mark Gurman say the launch could happen between September 8th and 12th. While the launch date seems likely, the price is still uncertain. Right now, the iPhone 16 Pro costs $999, but some reports say the price could go up this year. One reason for this might be trade issues and taxes linked to making the phone in China. We'll have to wait and see what Apple decides. Now, let's talk about the design. This year, Apple might make a big change to how the back of the phone looks. Instead of the usual square-shaped camera setup, the iPhone 17 Pro may come with a horizontal camera bar that stretches across the back. It looks a bit like what we've seen on the Google Pixel 9. Some leaked images and early models have already shown this new camera layout. Apple might also move its logo a little lower to fit better with the new design. There are also some rumors about the materials used for the frame of the phone. Right now, Apple uses titanium in the Pro models, but some leaks say Apple could go back to aluminum. Others say it will stick with titanium. No matter what material they choose, the phone will likely feel premium and have a fresh look while still being familiar. The screen size probably won't change. The iPhone 17 Pro is expected to have a 6.3-inch display, the same as the last model. Apple was testing a new screen material that could improve battery life and durability, but it may not be used in this phone after all. There's also talk of new colors. One rumor says a sky blue color might be added, which would match the look of the MacBook Air M4. This could give people a fresh and cool-looking option if it turns out to be true. When it comes to the camera, the iPhone 17 Pro could finally use all 48 megapixel lenses on the back. The telephoto lens, which was 12 megapixel before, may now become 48 megapixel too. However, it might only offer 3.5x zoom, which is a little less than the 5x zoom on the iPhone 16 Pro. On the front, all iPhone 17 models are expected to get a new 24 megapixel selfie camera. This would be a big upgrade from the old 12 megapixel. One, one of the coolest new features might be dual video recording. This lets you record from both the front and back cameras at the same time. It's perfect for vloggers or people who want to capture both sides of a story. Inside the phone, the iPhone 17 Pro will likely be powered by the new A19 Pro chip. This chip is built using a more advanced 3 nanometers process, which should make the phone faster and more power efficient. Some rumors had talked about a 2 nanometers chip, but that now seems to be for next year's iPhones. The iPhone 17 Pro is also expected to come with 12 gigabytes of RAM, up from 8 gigabytes, to support better multitasking and new AI features. To help keep the phone cool, Apple might use vapor chamber cooling for the first time, a leaked image of this cooling. System supports the rumor. This should help during gaming or when using heavy apps for a long time. We don't know if the battery will be bigger, but thanks to the new chip, the phone should still have better battery life. Charging might also get faster. Wired charging could go up to 35 watt from the current 20 watt. Wireless charging might also improve with the Cheetah standard. The iPhone 17 Pro will launch with iOS 26. This update brings a new look called Liquid Glass, better live translation features, improved call screening, and smarter AI tools. There will also be a new games app to keep all your games in one place. So overall, the iPhone 17 Pro looks like a strong upgrade. It may not be the flashiest model this year, but with a new camera layout, better chips, upgraded cameras, and useful features, it's shaping up to be a solid choice for anyone wanting a top-tier iPhone.